Hello, we are CDAE Community Media Production, and today we're going to be talking about what to do in Burlington and where to find out about uh, local happenings. Um, I'm Jackie. I use she, her pronouns. I'm Jake. I use he, him. I'm Danny. I use they, them pronouns. I'm Robin. I use he, him. I'm Sadie, I use she, her pronouns. And I'm Anna, I use she, her pronouns. Um, one of my favorite things to do in Burlington is go to the bike path because I'm a nanny and it's like perfect to walk the kids and then in the summer there's a bunch of beaches off of it and it's also like a great place to run. But I don't really know like besides that like where to get information on other cool places to go in Burlington so that's kind of been a struggle. Yeah, the, the summer, I can go. The summertime uh, is a lot of fun because, you know, we're out in the sun and the beach is always a cool place to be and um, you really can't beat that. And North Beach is especially my favorite. Um, and also hiking here in Vermont is a great place to be. I think the Burlington Parks and Rec uh, Department has a pretty active Instagram and I had a friend who ran it over the summer and she was always doing um, reporting from various fun outdoor things to do in Burlington, so that can always be a good resource to look at. I like um, following different restaurants and, and artists on Instagram that are in local to Burlington. It'd be a good place to find out about like new openings or shows. Yeah, I feel like nature-wise, I find out about a lot of like places to go from word of mouth. So I feel like, I don't know, Burlington is such a little tight-knit community. It's nice that you can just kind of like talk to people and ask them like where they like to go and create your own lists of like good places to visit based on just where other community members have told you is a good place to visit. Yeah, you can like find some of that stuff on Instagram. If you follow like accounts around Burlington restaurants as we were talking about before, it's a great way to like figure out what's going on downtown right before it happens. Yeah, I'd say even just walking around um, my friends had a little party the other day and their neighbors who had a band decided to come outside and play some live music for us and some other neighbors started standing out on their porch listening <laughs> and eventually like came over and it was just like a fun, a fun impromptu little musical event. Yeah, I feel like honestly Burlington is so, it's like kind of small in a way where like if you go to one, like I was at North Peach one day and then I crossed the street and I went down a path and it, the lake was frozen and if you go along more, there's ice caves. And I was like, I had no, you just, you can find everything anywhere. For me, I find most of my information from Twitter. And I think the Burlington Free Press does a solid job of posting um, maybe like the water, the water's not safe to be in. Sometimes I see like, um, mm. there's like, I forget what the green stuff is called. Cyanobacteria. Cyanobacteria. <laughs> and sometimes I see them post um, that water's not safe to be in or um, why people are, loving the water so much this weekend and what the weather's going to be like. Um, so that's where I get most of my information from. Yeah, I do have to say, um, I read a lot of like B, like BT Diggers articles and they have a lot of like reviews on restaurants and like stores around here, which also helps when you're like looking for dinner or something. I really like Front Porch Forum, which is like an email sort of forum that you can have with your neighbors and it's like based on your your neighborhood and you know, sometimes it's stuff for sale or lost and found, um, but a lot of times it's also just uh, various organizations and groups uh, advertising their events. That's a good place to find stuff. Also like Facebook groups, there's a bunch of like, like there's Old North End Facebook group, post a lot of like, like there was like the Momos, Summertime Bash, I don't know, something like that. But they post a lot of events. One thing I do wish was uh, I'm a big, for my free time, I do like to eat and do like reviews. I wish there was a app or some kind of account that did reviews on like local donuts or local cookies or, because um, I'm big into sweets and I think that'd be really cool to, to see reviews on like reactions to trying these different foods out. Yeah. Sure. Oh, I'd love to see something that, that has um, a list of things that you can't find here maybe because I spent way too long trying to find a dim sum place in the state of Vermont and I don't think that that exists. Now we have one. Well, there's cafe dim sum, yeah, but that's yeah. not, is it real dim sum like with the carts? Oh no, I guess yeah. it's not. Yeah, we are lacking some important things here. <laughs> um, what is dim sum, by the way? 
dim sum is like, I don't think I'm the most qualified person to explain it, but it's generally like, um, I believe Chinese food, but my, I don't, like Southeast Asian food, and it's um, brought around on carts, oh, like, okay. and then you kind of pick from the cart what you want, and at the end, and they like tally off what you've gotten from the cart, and then you just pay at the end. Um, but it's really fun, because you get oh, to, cool. you get yeah, to pick like what you of, want. Like, dumplings cool. and buns uh -huh. and good things like that. Well, awesome. Well, thank you guys for tuning in today. I uh, really appreciate everyone watching. Um, this is CCTV. Hi, welcome to CCTV. Today we're going to talk about some of the best things to do in Vermont in every season. And now we're going to introduce ourselves. Hi, I'm Brian. I use they, he pronouns. Hi, I'm Patrick. I use he, him pronouns. I'm Maeve. I use she, her pronouns. I'm Sophie. I use she, her pronouns. I'm Claire. I use she, her pronouns. And I'm Avery, and I use she, her pronouns. So I think we're going to start with winter because we're currently in winter. Um, I don't ski or snowboard, but there are still a lot of uh, interesting things to do here in the winter. Speaking of skiing and snowboarding, mm. we're finally getting snow, so t now is the time to get out there and take advantage of all the mountains that we have pretty close to us. Um, otherwise, what I personally love going to coffee shops. Dober Tea is mm. a good place to go. Mm -hmm. Just some go somewhere like warm and cozy during winter time is nice. Yeah, I love staying <clears throat> in with hot chocolate and just watching mm -hmm. a movie on the couch and I'm in bed by nine. <laughs> yeah, it's very peaceful. My roommates and I have been really liking um, ordering takeout. Um, rather than going out, it makes it feel more cozy. We get to have roommate time that a lot of us don't get during the day. And yeah, that's been our, that's been our routine weekly, I would say. I feel like there are so many good places here <coughs> to eat pho, which is so good in the winter because it's like super warm and cozy and perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think uh, the biggest part of winter in Vermont is just like making sure you don't get seasonal depression. So some people so go ski, snowboard, but others just like find their own way to do stuff and like still connect with people. And obviously like COVID has lessened here, so it's much more easy to connect with people over whatever you have in common just inside. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what about spring though? I mean, I know mud season comes around and that's not too easy to get outside like I know I'm itching to go hiking again but we still have to wait because we don't want erosion or to fall off trails mm -hmm. um, but my favorite thing to do in the spring is just like get outside and play tennis just so I can see the sun again mm. yeah. I think on the days that the sun actually comes out in the spring it's super important just to get outside I love going down to the waterfront um, going for a sunset walk just whenever I can. Mm -hmm. Shelburne Farms is a wonderful place yes. to walk. Um, in the spring is when all the lambs are getting, mm -hmm. are being born, and um, so it's a really special time to go out there and you can um, explore everything that they have because it's a beautiful place. Yeah, I feel like I get lost there every single time I go, but I find like a cool new little spot. And there's so many different things to do. I also love how in like late winter, early spring, it's also maple syrup season. So that's when we're tapping all of our maple trees and making that maple syrup. And that's always an exciting time. I think we can move on to summer, which is my favorite month in Vermont. And I think there's quite a few things that all of us like to do. Um, we're lucky enough to live by the lake in Burlington, but there's a bunch of other swimming options if you drive like 30 minutes outside of Burlington, a lot of watering, water holes, um, yeah, so. Little Gordo, mm. delicious, mm -hmm. creamy, that's my staple in the summer. <laughs> Always a big line. <laughs> yeah, I try to take advantage of like the bike path, I get my bike out again. I just really enjoy doing that. Uh, I'm a big fan of the sunsets. I think mm. 8 p.m. sunsets over Lake Champlain hit different. Mm. Mm -hmm. So true. Okay, should we move on to probably Vermont's most popular season, fall? Yeah, 
sure. I mean, I know leaf peeping is big. I haven't done it, but I've gone on hikes. I don't really understand the full concept of it. Do you just like, do you just look up yeah. at the leaves or are you like collecting leaves? <laughs> yes, um, I didn't get it either. Yeah, so but I, I knew when I was trying to have a friend come up here my freshman year. And I was like, oh yeah, it's fine, it's pretty. And then we looked at like the hotels and they were booked out for the yeah. entire mm -hmm. fall. And I was like, well, g guess I'll see you later. So. Yeah. If you take yeah. a drive through the Notch Road in Stowe, you'll definitely understand leaf peeping. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Cool. Well, that's all we have for tonight. Thanks for watching, and enjoy your night. <laughs> hey, everyone. I'm Aaron Deloney with CCTV. Um, we were talking about how uh, social media affects the way we get our information. I'm Natalie. I'm Brooke, she, her. I'm Will, he, him. Uh, I'm Finn, he, him. Word. Um, I feel like I get most of my information from Instagram. That's the app I'm on the most. And it's really easy to just click follow on um, different uh, organizations, Instagrams. They also have like the ads that pop up a lot. I don't know, what about you guys? I'm on TikTok a lot, um, too much. And so sometimes I'll get my information from there. I'll like see a TikTok and then I'll look it up on the internet to see if it's true. Or I'll use TikTok as a search engine if there's like something I'm looking for. My brain like it's lazy now, so I just want to see a quick video. So I'll look up what I need to look up on TikTok and it's usually always there. I feel like I used to be really addicted to social media and had a cleanse and deleted it uh, for a while. <laughs> And that was great. And then I got back onto it, uh, Instagram, TikTok, um, and now I'm back off. And it's definitely like made me appreciate. Like sometimes I'll read the news and on social media or on TikTok or something, and then actually read the news. And like they can be different. So it, I feel like it definitely skews my opinion and like where I get stuff for sure. I think for me, uh, I use Instagram as well, just because it's such an easy app. And it was like one of the first ones I downloaded, like when I was younger. So I've never really like went away from it. I just think it's a like a simple way to kind of just see things. You just scroll down and people always have like news stories and links and uh, things you can see from there, so. Yeah, same with me. Uh, I get a lot of information from Instagram and a lot of sports stuff on Instagram and then like TikTok, if I'm scrolling through, I get like random information that I don't need to know, <laughs> but I love and I just eat up, keep scrolling, like, you know. And the TikTok is different because the algorithm kind of chooses stuff that it knows that you'll like. So I feel like that's good because it helps me like see things I'm interested in, but then also maybe some things I wouldn't go looking for I wouldn't see. But it's addicting. That is the one thing about TikTok. I try not to get on it because it is so addicting. I've deleted it a few times from my phone just because it's, it's so time consuming. You look at the clock and not even realize how, how long you've been on it. So. Mm -hmm. Do you guys feel like the like information you get on like TikTok and Instagram is like accurate? Because I feel like sometimes, uh, especially on Instagram, like you'll see something and you're like, "How is this real?" And then either it ends up being real and you're like confused, or it's like just not accurate at all. Yeah, that's from, a good question. That's yeah. a good question. Sometimes for me, like I don't know why, but like the stats, the it's something with the algorithm, but it just like hits diff to me at that point <laughs> and moment. I'm like, whoa, like yeah. that's exactly what I was thinking about just now. Mm -hmm. But then other times I'm like, there's no way that's real. Like I, and then I just say it's not real, but I don't look it up or anything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Like I just kind of make Trust it up it. in my own head. Yeah. The comment sections, though, on almost <laughs> every TikTok, you go in the comment section and it's like just counter arguments to the mm -hmm. TikTok. Sure. Mm -hmm. So that's always interesting to look at. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Also, do you guys remember like when infographics first started being a thing? Like I honestly would believe anything that was like presented to me in like a pretty way. And I feel like now we know that's not always the best option, but I feel like if you make anything look professional, people will believe it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's definitely dangerous. Like you could put really like harmful information in an infographic and somebody would like repost on their story. Yeah. Like, unintentionally, like maybe not knowing that it was actually inaccurate or not, which is interesting. I like what they're doing uh, with posts now. Uh, they like kind of cover it up and make you like, if you want to see the video, um, mm -hmm. like view video, this is contains harmful information. Mm -hmm. So it kind of warns you before uh, you even get to that, that stage, so. Yeah, somebody was talking about like the gold check marks and like yeah, how you Twitter. can like buy 
Yeah, I don't know. Does anyone know anything about that? Yeah, you can buy the blue check, but the gold check is like if you're a company, like certified company or something like that. I haven't, that's the basis that I know. Mm. But there's so many more blue checks now. Blue check used to be like a crazy thing. Fat. You got the you can check. Like, <laughs> yeah, you can buy them on Instagram too. People can like hack hack the system somehow. I get DMs yeah. all the time like, hey, you want a blue check? Send me 2K. So yeah, that's a little weird now, but cool. Sure. Uh, well, thanks for talking. Uh, well, this is CT CCTV. Thank you. Thanks. Good evening, Burlington. Today we'll be talking about the best and the worst of uh, restaurants in the area. I'm Bo, he, him. I'm Kat. I use she, her pronouns. I'm Penny. I use she, her pronouns. I'm Lucas. I use he, him pronouns. Um, so I will start with saying uh, the best restaurant in Burlington. It's kind of hit or miss, you know Burlington by now, the food scene. Um, I would say on a good day, Misery Loves Company or Honey Road is my favorite. Um, and then everything else, hit or miss. Um, well, if you don't have that much money, like to go to Honey Road or Misery Loves Co, Tiny Thai in Winooski is very, very good if you like spicy. Um, I'm pretty biased. I work at the Friendly Toast, and so not only do I love their food, I love the discount I get. Um, so that's probably my favorite. On the higher end, I'd definitely say I've had a really good experience at Daedalus, the wine bar down on Pine Street. Oh, see, I, I haven't had a good really? experience at Daedalus. <laughs> um, on the lower end, Papa Frank's in Winooski is great. Really cheap Italian food, big portions. Um, and the worst, I gotta go with Sweetwaters, no doubt. But it's gone now, so you don't have to worry about that anymore. Yeah, I would say Sweetwaters was pretty bad. Like their management, I heard a lot of things about them. I would also add Ken's to that. Um, not like, the food, I could make that at home and it's still the same, but once again, the management there like sucked. I'm oh, sorry, I probably shouldn't have said that. Um, <laughs> The people at Alibaba's kebab shop are a little scary, but the food is good and cheap. And sometimes people spit in the food at um, the salad bar at the co-op, so yeah. That's news to me. Wow, I'm not gonna use <laughs> yeah. the salad bar anymore. But it's kind of good though. Like not the, <laughs> not the spit part, nice. but the, the food. Well, maybe that adds a little flavor. Um, you know, there's so many disappointing meals that I've had in Burlington uh, <laughs> that I can't really, you know, have have a top. Um, I would say JR's Original, right down the street from here, is pretty atrocious. Um, their calamari was uh, god awful, and uh, I'll never go back. Ooh, the f the best food I've ever had, which I would never go back because it's so expensive. But my parents were here and there, and they were treating was. Trattoria, which is close to Ailes. Um, not that I've ever been to Ailes as a 20 year old, um, but it's just so good. The Italian food there is to die for. I love it. I always wondered what was behind that big door. The yeah. big door, yeah. You ever made it to, um, uh, what's that one down by Hotel Vermont? End of the Wood? Yeah, I've never been there. I went there good? like three weeks ago for my birthday, so good. So many mushrooms on my food. Lives up to the height. Love it, so see, good. See, Hen of the Wood, I believe a friend and I had um, a rabbit that was undercooked, it was raw, and then they brought out the, um, I'm not quite sure how to say it, uh, tzatziki or that. Tzatziki, yeah. Tzatziki. And, um, or, or like the kohlrabi thing, and it was bitter and uh, so Hannah burnt. You know what I'm talking about. Did it's they still so, have it, the it was delicious. Everything I had was delicious, so I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> but I'd say it's A1. Um, we can also probably talk about the best and worst dining halls if anyone wants to hop to that. Um, I would give the best and the worst to the Grundel. Um, experience is just unmatched. Food, also unmatched, but not in a good way. If anyone else see, wants to see, I've had a pleasant experience at the Grundle with the uh, the Mexican cuisine is uh, <laughs> spot on. Also, the sushi is pretty good. It's better than gas station sushi. You know what you're getting into. I didn't know that was an option. Bar is sushi. so low. <laughs> Central's picked up the pace, I think. Mm. I don't know. I did a lot of cooking in my dorm though when I lived there. So 
Nice. So I've never lived on campus. I transferred, so I have no opinion on any of them, actually. <laughs> okay, well, um, <laughs> I, I think in the hospital, when the Atrium Cafe was open, <laughs> it was fantastic and it was subsidized, so you can get a uh, meal that would cost you like 20 bucks for like five dollars which was excellent wow now they closed down so no, one, one yeah people. a lot of the <laughs> food places on campus have closed waterman cafe just reopened but um the cyber cafe has never been open since i've been here so i mean maybe one day wow so it's, it's about time. I see uh, that we have very differing um, opinions on food and uh, differing scales. So I wanted to thank you all for listening. This has been a CCV production. Oh, <laughs> CCV. 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 <laughs> CCV. <laughs>